Project Olympus is NASA's vision for homes on the moon. Yes, on the moon, as in there's going to be a city on the moon that NASA is going to help build. And it's not that far away, surprisingly. NASA's lunar housing vision um, now has scientists saying, actually, it really could work. There could be people living on the moon within only about 15 years from today. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Bit of an unusual um, case here with NASA or NASA, depending on how you pronounce it, saying that um, seven scientists from the NASA have shared their optimism regarding NASA's ambitious goal of establishing lunar structures by 2040, as long as they continue to meet their project milestones. I can't see them getting there themselves. I believe they probably need SpaceX to get people to the moon. Project Olympus is NASA's vision for a long-term human presence on the moon. And this departs from the brief Apollo program visits culminating with Apollo 17 back in December of 1972. Today, NASA is committed to constructing lunar habitats capable of accommodating astronauts and civilians to create the first lunar subdivision for Americans, only for Americans, by 2040. They're saying 2040 is the latest date. They want to get people there before 2040. Some people in the scientific community think that this is ambitious or kind of ridiculous. Uh, however, the seven NASA scientists interviewed for an article for the press believe it is definitely achievable provided that the agency maintains its current progress. So these scientists have been told by NASA to say, keep the funding coming, we'll make sure it happens. And NASA is actually looking to build a moon base network for upcoming Artemis missions. So they'll launch um, other missions from the moon uh, around, the, around the universe. The bold plan is called Project Olympus. It might look too good to be true. And um, you know, some people, think it's ridiculous. But the scientists the time spoke with said it's absolutely on track and it's going to happen. Whether it's part of NASA's Lunar Service Innovation Initiative or LS2 is not sure. LS2 works across industry, academia, nonprofits, and other government agencies to catalyze technology development that will enable robotic and human exploration of the moon and future operations on Mars. So why would NASA even want to launch from the moon? Well, the reason is because there's some asteroids, uh, some big rocks just floating around in space, which have trillions of dollars of metals on them. Literally trillions and trillions. In fact, not trillions, quadrillions, whatever the next figure is of dollars worth of metals in them. And NASA wants to go and grab those along with SpaceX as well. NASA's plan involves sending a 3D printer to the moon and utilizing specialized lunar concrete derived from lunar rock chips, mineral fragments, and dust on the lunar surface to build structures or homes layer by layer. Technological advancements and collaborations with universities and private companies, they say, are making this ambitious plan possible. NASA's Director of Technology Maturation, Nikki Werkheiser, said, we're at a pivotal moment, and in some ways it feels like a dream sequence. In other ways, it feels like it was inevitable that we would get here. She emphasized NASA's openness to partnering with academics and industry leaders, expanding the possibilities for lunar construction. One major challenge in establishing a lunar presence is the abrasive lunar dust, which can be toxic when inhaled. However, this challenge has led to innovative solutions, said Raymond Clinton Jr., Senior Technical Advisor at NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center, proposing using lunar soil as a construction material. He says that just as homes on Earth can be 3D printed from local soil, lunar homes can be printed using moon soil, allowing for construction in the harsh lunar environment. It sounds to me like it actually makes a lot of sense. NASA's return to the moon, known as the Artemis program, marks a significant milestone. The program includes multiple missions with our team is two scheduled for November 2024, carrying the first woman and the first person of color in history around the moon. Our team is three is planned for one year later, and it will see humans land on the lunar surface with more crewed missions planned by the end of the decade. If you're interested, put your hand up. You can apply now, apparently. 
NASA has partnered with ICON, an Austin, Texas-based construction technology company to achieve its 2040 lunar housing goal and have people living there. The company started collaborating with NASA in 2020 and received $57 million in funding in 2022 for developing construction systems that utilize the moon and Mars resources as construction materials. Their approach involves utilizing the dust, rocks, and mineral fragments found on the lunar surface to create a concrete-like substance, which will be the primary building material for homes and many other structures. This innovation aims to reduce vulnerability to the sharp and toxic lunar dust on the moon's surface. However, the big challenge lies not in materials, they say, but in physics. ICON's 3D printer is scheduled for testing at NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center in February, evaluating its performance under vacuum conditions and radiation levels in space. Even if the test proves successful, a lunar landing pad must be constructed before these printers can actually be delivered to the moon. The challenges of construction in space are unique due to the need to travel light and avoid carrying materials from Earth, which obviously make rockets heavier. Patrick Suman, Interim Dean at the School of Architecture at Texas A&M University, emphasized the enormous importance of utilizing lunar resources rather than transporting materials from Earth. As NASA progresses toward lunar habitat construction, and who knows, maybe habitat construction on other planets in the not too distant future, they're also working on space furniture and interior design prototypes in collaboration with universities and private companies. The comprehensive approach aims to create a sustainable human presence on the moon. While the market value of lunar homes is uncertain, I mean, can you buy land on the moon? Uh, would you actually own your home or would you simply rent it from NASA? I don't know. The moon does hold untapped resources that could become valuable. And it's worth considering, is this like the the, the drive for the West? Maybe whether, you know, in America, you guys had this massive population boom and people were like running around trying to pick up land and mark out their own land. Could, could it be like that one day again on the moon? The international community is aligning to ensure peaceful and cooperative lunar exploration through agreements like the Artemis Accords though. So hopefully we won't have countries fighting over bits of the moon that they want to colonize. Here's the thing. The moon is sort of really part of NASA's goal for something else, something bigger. NASA's lunar endeavors are not the final frontier. They're a stepping stone to the grander goal of Mars, of colonizing Mars. The moon is seen as a practical layover, with the potential to convert lunar water into rocket fuel for Mars missions. With these ambitious plans, NASA is pushing the boundaries of space exploration, ushering in a new era of human presence beyond Earth. In preparation for future Mars missions, Volunteers live in a 3D printed structure simulating conditions on Mars. This shows that um, yeah, NASA is taking Mars very seriously. It's not just Elon Musk talking about, NASA wants to do it as well. The dreams of establishing a lunar presence and eventually venturing to Mars are no longer confined to science fiction. They're becoming a very real, tangible reality through NASA's determined efforts and collaborations. However, not so fast. Before these ambitious plans can actually, ha can actually happen, NASA must first achieve its goal of sending astronauts back to the moon. I mean, they haven't done this for over 50 years. If everything proceeds as planned, the Artemis II mission is set to dispatch astronauts into lunar orbit this year, 2024. Subsequently, the Artemis 3 mission, potentially in 2025 or 2026, depending on when SpaceX can actually make it happen, will execute a landing on the lunar South Pole with the support of SpaceX's new Starship, making a significant milestone in lunar exploration. Thanks for watching.